Hey guys, this is MJK from webstylepress.com. If this is your first time here, join this channel by hitting subscribe button and bell icon. In this tutorial, we are converting pixels, rem and em into pixel, rem and em. These are CSS units. Pixel is static, fixed and absolute CSS unit. I am not talking about the position, position fixed or absolute. I'm talking about the nature of the CSS unit and uh, you specify it and it does not change the pixel. Rem and EM are relative CSS units and these can be changed dynamically. So if you want to change whole site font size, widths, margins and uh, by changing a variable in CSS, you can use rem and em CSS units. So to do that, you need to have a concept of how these are converted into one another. For that, this is the tool that we can uh, that we have created that helps us quickly calculate the rem for particular pixel value or vice versa. When you work with REM and EM, you need such tool. This tutorial not just teaches you the difference between these CSS units, but also provides you formulas that you can use in any other form. We will use JavaScript and jQuery to make this tool. Let's build it, but before, allow me to mention that I have also posted videos related to this topic where I show you how PX, REM and EM work. How should you define root font size? Should you prefer REM over PX? And uh, should you use EM or not? And I also have created helper functions to convert rem and px in one another. So do check them out as well. I will link those videos in this tutorial. So this is the design for the tool we have got. And it has got four areas. And this is pixel to rem converter. It takes root font size and pixel to convert and gives output in form of rem. And uh, uh, this is the rem to px converter. It gives uh, the px output and takes root font size and rem unit to convert. And then we have got the rem to em converter. Rem to em converter by uh, using parent rem and required pixel. But before that, we will have to convert this rem into pixel value. Then uh, we do something with this required pixel and output the EM value. And then we have got pixel to EM converter. Directly give it pixel and the uh, directly give it uh, directly give it parent font size and the required pixel value and it will give you the EM value for that. So I have got this HTML web page that has got the HTML5. This is the responsive meta tag. And uh, no, uh, yeah, this one and this one are meta responsive tags. And uh, I have got bootstrap, bootstrap 4 in fact, linked to this HTML. And I have got the CSS file custom.css in my styles folder that is in the assets folder. And I have also linked the jQuery with this document jQuery 3. And then uh, bootstrap for JavaScript, but we do not need bootstrap for JavaScript here. jQuery will be fine but I will leave it here anyways. And then at the end, we have got our custom.js file, custom script file that is in the scripts folder and scripts folder is also in the assets folder. So our functionality will be in the custom.js file. 
and then I have got the SCSS file and the output for this SCSS file will be stored in the CSS custom.css that we have linked right here. So in the custom.css I have the font open sense. Uh, I am linking importing it in fact directly from the Google fonts. And then we have got the CSS reset and I have got the HTML and body styles. I have got the flex raw flex boxes and our wrapper and then button styling and I have changed the container max width to 1600 px. So this is the design that I have got. So basically this is the uh, container and there is raw inside the container that raw has got this call lg6 uh, and this is also call lg6 this is also call lg6 call lg6 and then inside that inside this one particular area i have got again a raw and then inside that draw, this is the column, this is column, this is column. Let me show you. The design is not 100% responsive, but for the store, it's all right. So this is our input that is um inside this is call md5 and this is call md5 this is call md2 and then we have got the call md12 and there inside it it has we have got result div we have got the h2 and inside the h2 we have we have got a rem and we have got the result and if you notice I have got this input field with the class one. Okay. And this input has got the class two. Right. And this button has got the class um, BTN. And then finally, we have got the result span. Our result will be shown in this area. And similarly for this, uh, but uh, let me also show you that this is the raw for this whole area. And this raw has got a special class, px to rem. So we will use this px to rem and then this one and then two and then this result class to calculate the result and drop it uh, right here for this area. And then similarly, for this area in the raw, we have got uh, um, this one. This is our area. We have got a special class, rem to px. And then again, the first input has got the class of one. And then this input has got the class two. And again, this area has got the span with the class result. Our result will be dropped here in this area for this, uh, for this particular functionality. Similarly, class one, two, three. This input has got the class three. And similarly, here also there is span with the class result. So the classes are being repeated. This will be again class one. This input will have class two and here will be the result. Classes are similar, but the main area class is different. So let's 
see this area this area has got a special class px to em at the raw for this whole area so we will use the parent for each of these areas to target one two and result classes so that we should know that uh, which result we are talking about and calculating right so inside classes are same for these four sections but the wrapper class is different for each of these sections and each area px to rem and this is rem to px different class and this will be rem to em okay rem to em class and this will be px to em so this is the breakdown of the html and css for our uh, this little app and uh, this is the html container raw call lg6 and then the we have got the wrapper and this is one section px to em px to rem and then there is uh, input one class one class two and result okay inside our custom.js there will be functionality what i want to do is to i want to click at this go and then i want to have the result here and for this area i want to click at this go button and want to get the result here inside this uh, before this px for this result will be here for this result will be here so in our custom.js file will be our functionality and we know that we are using jquery so for jquery you should use the document.ready function and you should use all your functionality inside this so document.ready uh, this is the uh, this is something special when the dom will be ready document object model when the html and tags will be present if i say it simply this is the dom you can say that this is the dom when this dom will be ready when this dom will be available when these elements will be available then the code inside it will be executed let me say it again when the dom will be ready when the document object model this uh, these elements will be available then the code inside it will be executed and uh, that is the job of document dot ready uh, it waits for the dom to be loaded to apply the uh, script inside it at the dom because when dom these of uh, these elements uh, are available then this uh, script should be executed then this script will find these elements and will be execu uh, will be executed on those elements so this is a little bit precaution that we should use and then there are four functions that we have created we are not randomly throwing our logic inside this document already we have uh, created four functions to keep our code clean and then we will call our functions inside this document dot ready so px uh, rem to px converter and uh, rem to em and finally px to em px to rem rem to px rem to em px to em rem to uh, px to rem rem to px rem to em and px to em so 
when the dom will be ready these functions will be executed and these functions will have our logic so first one px to rem converter we should know the root font size and root font size is html's font size that you should use 10 px or 62.5 percent but better is 10 px you know root font size is that uh, for this uh, Mm, um, this is a converter you can use any uh, you can consider any root font size but uh, I was just explaining that what is root font size and uh, what is recommended you can use 10 pixels in the HTML in the CSS to have the root font size and then the pixel to convert so this is as I mentioned this is this it uh, uh, this in as I mentioned, this input has got the class one and this input has got the class two. And here is our uh, span that has got the class result. So uh, PX to RAM converter. So pixels, we will take the pixels, these pixels, this value from the class two and uh, we will um, divide it with the root font size and root font size is this one that is with the class that is the input with the class one and uh, consider we have got the pixels 16 and we have got the root font size 10 when we will divide it and we will get the 1.6 ram this is the formula this is what we want to achieve in this function so if we will code it we want to click at this button for the result to appear inside this span with the class the dot result here so this is the button with the class dot btn but this button is inside the a special uh, section class that is picks to rem let's see picks to rem px to rem uh, I am copying this class and then I am coming here and let's target that button so jQuery inside the quotes this is our class this is our wrapper and inside this wrapper we want to target its button so dot click function so let convert is equal to now I want to get the value for this input and this input so our formula is this one pixels divided by root font size so this is dot two this is dot one classes right inside this wrapper okay so let's take this thing again and uh, just paste it and fix to run to dot fail divided by picks to ram dot one well and then um, we have got the value inside this thing and then we will just uh, uh, we will we want to output this inside the result this value okay so for that i am also copying this and inside the pix to ram dot result as i uh, showed that we have got the result uh, we have got the span with the result class and we want its text inside text to be this one that we have converted so save and uh, let's try it so 
16 pixels and 10 pixels. 10 pixels is root font size. 10 pixel and 16 pixel. Go. 1.6. Okay. So if root font size is 16 and pixel to convert, we want to convert 40 pixels. And what is the right? Okay. And we want to convert 4 to 5, 4, 0 to 5. Okay, the value is this one in the rem. So as you can see that after decimal, we've got these four digits. Uh, we just want two, I believe. So just wrap this whole expression and uh, uh, use two fixed. Hmm, dot two fixed two let's copy this let's save this and then again use it 16 here and this one and go now we have got two digits after dot so if we have got the root font size 10 and we have got uh, we want to use 16 pixels. What RAM CSS unit we should use for our font size anywhere for any element inside the HTML? Go. 1.6 RAM 1.6. So if you have got the root font size 10 and you want to use 16 pixels anywhere in your document, you can use 1.6 RAM as a font size for that element clear okay let's move on let's create function for this rem to px converter now we are converting rem to px and we have got the root font size we want to give it a root we are we know the what is the root font size and then we will give it rem to convert and then it will give us the pixel value this is useful when you want to have an idea of the output for in pixels when you want you when you know the root font size and when you want to try the rem to convert and you want to know the how many pixels it will have okay so rem to px i am just going to copy this thing here our second function and now the formula that we have got when you will uh, multiply the RAM unit with the root font size, you will get the pixel value. So we have got this input with the class dot two. This will be the dot one. So you will have to multiply these simple, but we have got this area with a specific class. What is the class? That is the RAM to pixel. We want to target stuff in this area only, not for any other section, right? Okay, so rem to px converter, rem to px. We will change this rem to px, rem to px, rem to px, and we will need to fix the yes, and here rem to px and uh, drop the result inside the ram to px dot result right and but we have got the dot to this input and dot one this input ram and font root font size and uh, we will be just multiplying these this time and let's save it and uh, we if we have got the 10 pixels root font size and we want and we want to apply 1.6 uh, rem to any element then what will be the output in the pixels let's find out it will be the it will be 16 16 pixels right 
so for root for 10 pixel root font size if we uh, use 1.6 rem it will give us 16 pixels right and here root font size 10 pixels to convert we want 16 pixels and we will get the 1.6 rem right so this one this one clear simple right okay let's move on to third function that is rem to em let's make sure it has it has got the class um this one rem to em it has got the three inputs dot one dot two dot three classes uh, for these inputs okay and uh, this is the root font size parent ram parent ram unit and then the required pixels that you want to have and it will give you the em value for this and for this we will use uh, let's copy this thing again okay and then just replace this one ram to em run to em dot button dot click function and this one and this one and here this will be changed as well okay so the formula uh, is this one first we will convert this value parent rem to pixels we will do something with this input value and this input value to convert the uh, to get the pixel value and then we will do something with that pixel value and this one required pixel value to get the em value right so rem multiplied by root font size rem multiplied by this root font size um, first we'll do this so convert we will use convert rem to px let's use this okay rem to em dot two dot val multiplied by one two multiplied by one right okay so this will be this will give us pixel value and then we will need something more uh, we have to do something with that value that we have got we will use this time convert we will store the value the result in the convert and we will drop the value of this convert inside the result uh, span so rem dot em now this time we will uh, this was the required value required pixels divided by rem to pixel rem to pixel value is this one this will be replaced uh, by this thing and this is our third input three dot three was its value i believe let's see yep three okay So let's find out. So let's say we have got the root font size of 10 pixels and we have got the parent rem uh, as as parent rem 1.6. Okay, so we know that 1.6 um, rem means 16 pixels when we have got 10 root font size. So for required pixels, let's say required pixels i want to have 16 pixels how many rem em will be there 
so we know that one em will be there because em is dependent on its immediate parent size that is 16 here and when we require 16 pixels so the result will be one em and if we want um 32 pixels then the result will be 2 em so nice this is working right okay so i am copying this again and then i am pasting it here for this px to em so px to em this will be our wrapper class so i am replacing the wrapper class for this thing for this function in all the scenarios here uh, this one so our result span is there so convert we have got the two and the one for input classes here so we want to um just divide required pixels divided by root font size 2 divided by 1 2 divided by 1 so let's see so if the parent font size and here is the font size okay uh parent font and this is the parent not the root font size not the html font size it is the parent div or any element immediate parent let's say its font size is 16 pixels and we want 16 pixels um to we want 16 pixels so what em will we will we use in our element yes one em and in case our parent font size is 16 and we want pixel value of 32 then em should be 2 all right and now let's say our parent font size is 10 and we want 85 pixels font size how many em will we use 8.50 em So these are the four functions and four formulas with these functions that you can use to create this kind of converter for px to ram, ram to px, ram to em and px pixels to em. So this tool is really helpful when you are creating a kind of dynamic html css based website that you want uh, that uh, will respond to a root font size change if you want to change the font size for the whole website or whole web page and you and you want a control to uh, in a single line and uh, uh, s such that when you change that single line uh, the, that change will affect the whole web page or whole website let's say you change the root font size you increase it or decrease it and the whole web page or whole web app will be affected for that you need to define a root font size let's say 10 pixels and then you will use the rem and em css units for all uh, of your other CSS, uh, let it be widths and paddings and margins and font sizes, and uh, then you need then you need calculations for those. Those calculations by doing those calculations, uh, you will be able to understand how much pixel uh, will be the output value because web page does not understand kind of directly it can't understand rem and em for web page rem and em a browser cannot directly understand these these are relative units 
uh, EM is dependent on its parent and the RAM is dependent on uh, root font size. So web page or uh, web browser actually looks at the parent font size and the uh, root font size to convert these rem, rems and ems into pixels and then it shows the output for that converted pixel value so you need this kind of converter to efficiently determine how the output value will be based on your usage of RAM and EM units inside your CSS. So that's it guys. I hope you like this video. If I missed anything or you have something to add, you can comment down below, ask questions related to this topic. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to this channel and hit bell icon to receive update. Join us on social media. Links are in the description below. Stay tuned for more updates. I will see you in the next video.